rodeo is a selfish sport in all reality. What does your family get out of it? How do they benefit from it? Like I do it for the joy and the excitement, and the adrenaline and all that too, but it's one of the ways I know how to survive, you know? Even though it's not even comparable to any of the old day things that we used to do, and for some it's close as it could get. Try hard. It feels great. And it takes me back about 200 years a little for eight seconds. The things that were surrounding me was cowboy. I can't hunt buffalo no more. I chase buffalo on my horse. Now I gotta chase cows. But when it comes to a rodeo, I'm not a cowboy Indian, I'm an Indian cowboy. First, always. After they took almost everything away from us, it was the only thing that we could relate to our old way of life because we're still close to the horse. I mean, they help you to live life, and learn, and to survive. It's helped me to learn how to be a person and have good spirit, how to control myself. spirit of drug and alcohol that that sticks out a little more than what's really there you know we have the ability to change things like greed and money and all that kind of shit we can change all that we carry a lot like our, our job here is to keep that spirit alive. It's the spirit that was placed in us by the creator from the beginning of time, you know. We're just, we just occupy this place and take care of it. Make America great again? No, it's great already. They don't know who they hate mixed up, you know. They disconnected their umbilical cord to the earth long, long ago. And since then they become lost, so they don't know how to think. They know that we're here, you know, we're a people. You come to this place and you respect it, and you respect us. The spirit's still there. It will live on. <laughs>